Modern day now, we believe separation of church and state is to keep the church, church <laughs> under control. Right. You know, and so that the state, mm -hmm. you know, and state affairs, you cannot have religious activities into the affairs of state and school and that kind of stuff. So, so the, you're talking about down. a 180 a complete degree reversal. Right. See, what's happened today is separation of church and state has become the great club of secularism to beat people of faith back in the corner. Oh, you're trying to pray. Get back in the corner. Separation church. So it's used to stop religious expressions. It was That's certainly, Dave, how I understand it. And that's, okay. that's the way it has been in the last 50 years. Okay. What it had been for the first 450 years was to get the government to leave religious expression alone. It's not their business to regulate religious expression. It's not their business to tell you how, when, or where you can pray, or what you can say when you do pray. It's not their business to tell you what religious beliefs you're going to have. That was separation church and state. Okay. Uh, the, the way that phrase came about was a group of Baptist ministers wrote to Thomas Jefferson, who was president. And Jefferson was a, a sympathetic ear. I mean, he agreed with them totally. And they said, look, we as Baptists have been the subjects of persecution in America because we were preaching without an Anglican license and they're not supposed to be doing that. I mean, that's not separate. We want separation church and state. We want the government to leave us alone, stay out of what we do. And so they wrote to Jefferson with that concern. They said, we're really concerned about this, this First Amendment to the Constitution. I mean, the First Amendment says that, that, that Congress can't make any law respecting the establishment of religion. There shouldn't be anything in the Constitution saying what, what government can or can't do with religion because it's not their domain. Right. So their concern is that having government mentioned in the First Amendment, the government someday, someday might think that it had the right to regulate religious expression. You know, well, we would say, hey, the First Amendment's a protection for us. Mm -hmm. They were saying, no, the First Amendment opens the door for government to come get involved with religious activities. And you, you, the First Amendment's a problem. That was their view. So Jefferson writes them back. He said, look, you don't have to worry. He just assured them the government's not going to stop their religious activities because we have a wall of separation. Now, that's really key because his whole wall of separation is to reassure them that the government's not going to mess with any of their religious activities. You're not going to have to worry about the government stopping religious expression. It's not going to do it. See, that was the design. Yeah. Now we use separation church and state to stop religious expression. <laughs>